Armadillo's Orange by Jim Arneski. At the wild edge of an orange grove, a young armadillo dug a burrow in soft sandy soil. Close by lay a big round orange that had fallen from its tree. The orange made it easy for Armadillo to find his brand new home. Each day, Armadillo left his burrow to hunt for insects and grubs to eat. He followed a narrow path that wound its way around the tangled stems of plants and trees. Every time he walked the winding path, Armadillo passed beneath a lively green snake climbing on a branch. But Armadillo never looked up. He just hurried on his way. Down the path, a shy rattlesnake was crawled in the shade of big droopy leaves. But Armadillo quickly waddled by looking only straight ahead. Then an old slow moving tortoise crossed the path. Armadillo had to stop and wait. He shuffled his feet impatiently until the tortoise passed. He hurried onto a fallen tree where he could dig in the rotting wood for tasty grubs. A scrub jay called out in its loud, raspy voice. Armadillo closed his ears. Honeybees buzzed by on their way to their hive. Armadillo covered his face with his long claws. When the other animals had finally gone, Armadillo gobbled up every grub that he could find. Then he rushed back down the path. When he saw the big round orange, he knew that he was home. Every day was the same, but one day, while Amadillo was away, a sudden gust of wind blew through the grove. The wind pushed Amadillo's orange just enough to make it roll downhill into a weedy ditch. When Armadillo returned, he could not find his burrow. He walked and walked looking for the orange that marked the entrance to his home. Everything seemed strange and wrong with the big round orange gone. Armadillo wandered lost and all alone. Then suddenly he smelled the sweet scent of honeybees and he saw the old tortoise slowly crossing the path. Together, Armadillo and Tortoise watched the honeybees buzz by. Then Armadillo heard the scrub jays calling in its raspy voice. He followed the sound and soon he came upon the shy rattlesnake resting in the shade. When Armadillo looked up, he saw the leafy green snake climbing on a branch. Amadillo smelled and heard and saw these things and knew that he was home. Amadillo missed the big round orange shining brightly near his hole, but with his neighbors living all around, he didn't need it anymore. The end.